Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar, where we're going to give you a quick overview of GEM, especially if you're new to us. My name is Ani, and I'm on the product marketing team, and I'm joined by my colleague, Nitish, who's on our solutions consulting team. Before we get into the demo, I'd like to take a quick minute to give everyone an overview of GEM and the challenges we try to tackle. And then Nitish will take it over with a quick demo with some of our core solutions, and we'll also be answering questions as they come. So just to set the scene a little bit, we all know that the talent acquisition space has exploded with innovation lately. There's so much more tech that honestly, it's quite overwhelming. Unfortunately, despite all that progress, a lot of our customers have actually shared that they're still struggling with the same old questions for the past 20 years. Things like, how do I make my recruiters more productive? How can we consistently deliver hires that my company needs when they need them and then also accurately forecast? And lastly, how can we make better, more informed decisions backed by data so that our business is running strategically? The funny thing is, is that in our quest to fix all these things, we're sometimes getting in our own way. Case in point, the average enterprise recruiter is handling 20 to 25 TA tech tools daily. So clearly there's a real hunger to improve processes and productivity, but the unintended consequences is that by adding more and more tools reactively to fix these problems, we might be actually adding more to the chaos. And that's why only one in four companies are recruiting in an optimized way. And 60% of TA leaders are still saying that reporting and analytics are their number one gap. So simply put, we still have the opportunity to reduce the juggling of all these multiple tools, reduce spending and simplify our process as well. The good news is that we at Gem believe there's a much better way to solve for all this chaos within your current tech stack without adding any more tools. And it starts with the CRM or the Candidate Relationship Management System. In our view, the CRM should be the most power, should be the powerhouse behind the actual hiring results. When it's done right, the CRM is the glue that holds your entire recruiting process together from that very first hello all the way to the final offer sign. And that's why it has the potential to unify all of your data streamline work, and also help you drive real results. And most importantly, it can actually enhance your recruiter's day without actually changing how they naturally work. In fact, our head of sales often says, a great CRM is wonderfully complex, but beautifully simple. And that's the ethos we try to live by at GEM. Now, I'll happily admit that GEM is certainly not the first CRM to enter the market. There's a lot of legacy CRMs out there that try to impress you with all the boxes and features they check. But what we're hearing time and time again from these customers is that they're still not seeing any results. When we ask them why, they all have a similar set of reasons. Many CRMs are trying to reinvent the wheel for recruiters by creating a new system or a process instead of just fitting into the groove of how they're working today. This creates change management and eventually just ends up with a lot of unused products and tools. The second thing is, is that they always over-index on trying to improve the inbound candidate experience. Now, this isn't to say inbound isn't important, but by making it the sole focus, we're perpetuating that reactive hiring process, which is exactly what we're trying to get away from. And by solely focusing on inbound, we're also ignoring 80% of the candidate market that's actually open to a career change, but not actively applying. And then lastly, and perhaps most importantly, Many, many legacy CRMs lack that deep and reliable ATS and top of funnel integrations that are needed to make a CRM truly usable. This impacts teams in twofold. First, recruiters are constantly stuck, con context switching between different systems just to do the basics. And then second, the lack of that deep integration means that any data that's shown in the CRM can't really be trusted because it might be missing different pieces. So to summarize, while many legacy CRMs have promised to do a lot, Recruiters are not actually using them. They're perpetuating the reactive hiring doom cycle, and they don't have the integration depth that's necessary to improve the productivity and reporting that you're looking for. So let's paint a picture of what GEM does and, and how we feel that it's better. With our platform, all your top of funnel sources and communication channels are seamlessly visualized in one user-friendly hub. You have the ability to fine tune all the channels where you find talent today, whether it's your career site, recruiting events, or anywhere else. We give you the power to convert more of those maybes into applications and hires. And our deep ATS integration also allows you to tap into the thousands, if not millions of candidates that you've already attracted and are just sitting in your ATS. And then last, but definitely not least, GEM connects all the top of funnel activities in your CRM with the bottom of funnel outcomes in your ATS 
so that you have that complete full funnel view of your end-to-end -end recruiting process and not just little pieces of it. So with Gem as your CRM, we've seen a lot of our customers achieve impressive results. For Celestica, a global manufacturing company, we were able to help them increase their offer acceptance rate to 87% within the first 90 days of using Gem. For Robinhood, recruiters were able to save eight to 10 hours a week with better automation and simpler workflows. And for Unity, our platform gave their TA leadership team clear visibility into the bottlenecks in their recruiting process, which they were able to identify, resolve, and then reduce their time to fill by almost 10 days. So needless to say, these aren't just perks for talent acquisition. They have a huge impact on your entire organization and how they hit their overall corporate goals. And that's what Gem cares about, making sure that you can achieve your corporate goals. And you don't have to take our word for it. We have over 1,200 customers using Gem to enable their specific outcomes. This slide is just a sample of many of the organizations we work with. Each of them has specific use cases, pain points, and areas of opportunity that they've used to help uh, that they've used Gem to help address. So with that being said, that's enough talking for me. I'd love to hand it over to my colleague, Natish, who's actually going to show us how Gem works within the actual product. Hi, Natish. Thanks for that great intro, Ani. And really excited for everyone else that's in, attending here today to talk about Gem and actually show you what it looks like in person as well. Uh, and obviously, thanks for the great intro and to giving you the information on what Gem does, but it's most helpful to see it. So with that in mind, I'm gonna get started and actually start sharing my screen and show you all the different things that Gem can actually help you with, all the way from the first time you send the candidate a message down to evaluating whether your pipeline is actually doing the things that you want it to do and to figure out how you can improve it going forward as well. So to give you some high level overview, right now we're actually gonna start off with the sourcing and the classic or outreach functionality of Gem as well that many of you have probably seen before. So I'm on LinkedIn right now. I found this really great candidate that I think is a perfect fit for the role we're hiring for. And after I did some LinkedIn Boolean searches, I stumbled onto his profile and I wanna reach out to him and add him to our CRM so we can keep track of him going forward as well. The first thing you'll see when you stumble on a candidate's profile in LinkedIn or any other platform they're using for sourcing is that the gym extension will actually work with you to take those automatic actions and to power up your engagement process as well. The first thing you'll see is if the candidate already exists in the ATS today. And we allow you to do that because we have a really powerful integration with the ATS that gives us visibility into the ATS and allows us to extract information out of the ATS as well. Next, we'll also tell you if other recruiters on your team are reaching out to this candidate or taking action on this candidate, which can help you make sure that you're not reaching out to the same candidate multiple times for different roles. And finally, perhaps the most powerful is actually finding that candidate's personal email address. We love LinkedIn like everyone else at Gem and everyone else that uses recruiting. But the problem is that LinkedIn is typically an ineffective way to reach out to candidates because a lot of candidates, particularly those that are in technical roles, have their email notifications turned off. And we find that as a result, it's much more impactful to just reach out to them through an email instead. So. If you want to reach out to a candidate and add them to a CRM, it's as simple as clicking add candidate. And the extension will expand and parse out all the great information on this candidate's profile, as well as store that for future reference as well. First thing you'll do typically is add a candidate to a project at Gem. You can think of Gem projects as very similar to LinkedIn projects, but more robust in terms of the sharing and collaboration functionality we provide as well. So when you find the right project, you can quickly add the candidate to that project. And you'll actually see on the left-hand side that the messaging window automatically popped up with a sequence or a drip campaign that we've essentially tied to the back end of this project within Gem. Now, I'll come back to this in a second. I do wanna wrap up a couple of really important functionalities in this extension itself. The next thing that's really powerful is the ability to add the candidate directly into the ATS. So at this point, you can choose which rec and even some information like the source or a tag, depending on the ATS. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, these personal email addresses that Gem is able to find for individuals allow us to send automatic drip campaigns that have a significantly higher response rate than LinkedIn and also have the ease of use and tracking that emails provide as well. So with that out of the way, I wanna hop back into this messaging window on the left-hand side 
to show you how Jim can actually help with messaging and outreach as well. Stage one is an actual, is an email that's coming directly from my sent out box, nitesha at gem.com, if any of you want to reach out to me in the future, um, or uh, Mihir, uh, and it's going directly to Mihir's inbox as well. So that's his personal email. He happens to be my roommate, um, so I know for a fact that's his email. Uh, and also, you'll see that we actually put in tokens, such as first name, and we can even put in other tokens, like company, title, school, and location, that allow each of these messages to be personalized because we find that it can significantly increase response rate when you take that time to personalize an individual message. If I actually scroll down, you'll see that stage two is a message that only gets sent out if there's no response from the candidate. And stage two is also powerful because this is what we call an example of a send on behalf of a gem. So send on behalf of is the ability to send messages on the behalf of other individuals, uh, as you might guess from the name. And this really allows us to send messages from other members in the team, not just recruiters and sourcers, but hiring managers, execs, and leaders that can significantly increase response rate, particularly around some of those hard to fill roles. And one of our customers, Matchbox, actually had a 30% conversion into their ATS when they leveraged sent on behalf of for those key roles. So it's a really powerful way to level up your response rates and your candidate outreach as well. So once we send this candidate message, that's what we typically call the send as you go workflow at GEM. This is something that recruiters will do as they stumble upon a candidate, they wanna reach out to them quickly and start that process. But more typically what our customers will do is leverage the bulk functionality of GEM instead. This allows us to send messages not only to one candidate, but 42 different candidates all at the same time with each of those automatic follow-ups queued up as well. So this is that same exact project that we saw on the front end of GEM earlier. And we have the ability to select all candidates from here and add them directly to that same sequence that we saw earlier. The great thing about adding candidates to these bulk sequences is that not only do we send those multiple automatic trip campaigns and follow-ups, but also if you ever wanna do additional personalization for an individual candidate, for example, we can see Sunkit here and I went to Rutgers and maybe Sunkit also went to Rutgers and I want to call out that we are both Scarlet Knights and we can do that directly in here. And once we do that, that will only get sent out to Sunkit and not any other candidates as well. And this can be an additional way to personalize. And we certainly drink our own Kool-Aid and we do leverage this when we reach out to candidates ourselves as well. One other thing to highlight on projects is the ability to collaborate with other individuals. As I mentioned earlier, projects are similar to LinkedIn projects, but they're more powerful in the other functionality like requesting a review from an individual. This is a really great way to collaborate with hiring managers in particular for calibration calls before you start doing a very serious search or sourcing outreach for different candidates. Maybe just send them a quick message to the hiring manager asking for approval over these three or four candidates. Are these the type of candidates we're looking to reach out to, et cetera? And we find that it can be a great way to calibrate and make sure that recruiters and hiring managers on the same page, particularly when sourcing these outbound, uh, outbound candidates as well. Now, what's a CRM without the ability to search and all the great stuff you've been doing? And that's what brings us to prospect search as well. So not only does Gem help you reach out to candidates, automate those responses and evaluate the effectiveness of each of those messages you're sending, we also want you to be able to resurface prior candidates because we have a core belief that the best candidates are candidates that you've previously talked to before. And that uh, we, we enforce that within GEM is using our candidate rediscovery options as well. Candidate rediscovery is the way to actually search directly into your ATS from GEM. So I've actually pulled up a search that we run pretty frequently at GEM. And you'll see that this criteria we've used is that the ATS application was for a specific backend software engineer job in our ATS, and even down to a specific rejection reason in our ATS as well. So we've chosen to include decline and reason or rejected because we prefer another candidate because these are the silver medalists that we just couldn't hire, not because we didn't like them or we didn't think they were good fits, but because we had a limited number of roles. So next time we open a backend software engineer role, rather than going out and sourcing uh, 33 new candidates, we highly recommend leveraging these high quality candidates first, reach out to them, and then find those other candidates out in the cold as well. One of the advantages of using candidate rediscovery is that we find that they have a 20% high response rate 
than cold source candidates, which is fairly intuitive given these are candidates that had an experience with their company and have built some form of relationship as well. So obviously, as you can see, you can add this candidate to a sequence, but I actually recommend doing something different. Rather than sending a candidate a classic email sequence that's a little bit more hard touch and talks about specific jobs or uh, things they're trying to recruit for, maybe send them something like a gem branded campaign. A gem branded campaign is a great way for different teams to send content that's more marketed and really organized around specific messages you want to communicate to your individual candidates as well. We find this to be particularly effective for warming up those cold nurture, um, cold candidates, especially ones that are previously applied by maybe sending them a newsletter or something like this that we did for our holiday season as well. So regardless of how you want to use these, this can be an incredibly diff a incredible way to send a different touch point to a candidate, given that it takes about 14 touch points to usually make that higher. This can be that more light touch approach that moves the needle for candidates as well. The great thing about campaigns is that you don't have to be a marketing genius to build each of these. These are all component based and you can certainly just drag and drop content, include videos, HTML links, et cetera. And all of that stuff is tracked in the back end of Gem as well. So within this talent marketing lens of Gem, there's two other pieces of functionality that's really valuable to our customers. The uh, second piece is the Gem campus forms or Gem forms in general. Gem forms are a great way to have candidates essentially ingest themselves directly into our CRM. So obviously we have the ability to go out and add candidates using our extension or via CSV upload, but it's always great to have candidates that just fill out the form and join GEM themselves. The way you can leverage this is either for the campus event check-in form like I've developed here. This is an example of a form you can completely create yourself, ask various questions and organize candidates into different projects based on those answers, or our customers also use the same functionality to develop talent communities as well. But particularly with that events and in-person uh, event um, internship and um, recruiting lens, I do wanna also show another use case of our gem talent marketing functionality in that specific place as well. We have this concept of gem pages that are microsites that can be powerful resource hubs for various on-campus events or for different initiatives that your team is running, like maybe women in tech or your diversity initiatives. So regardless of how you wanna leverage these gem pages, they can be a powerful resource hub. And also we have the ability to inject, put um, forms directly into this, any content that is relevant to you and even the jobs list itself. So this can go directly into your ATS and show your open jobs if you wanna specifically market those when you're on campus or on a specific event or something else as well. So the last part of GEM, um, but certainly not least, and perhaps my favorite part of GEM as well, is our reporting functionality within GEM. Our reporting within GEM is what allows us to do really great analysis on all of the things that are working on the top within GEM and also everything that's working within the ATS as well. So for example, this is a talent compass dashboard that lets us analyze our high level company-wide reporting all the way from how many hires we're making to where candidates are down to specific metrics like time to hire, offer acceptance rate, and time to fill. Particularly for time to hire, offer acceptance rate, we also allow you to benchmark against other GEM customers. This can be a really powerful way to compare yourself to the market as well. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time on the dashboard because you can make as many as you want reform on different metrics. And a lot of this can vary by the customer and by our user. But I do wanna mention we have the ability to schedule reports. So you can share these dashboards with any relevant stakeholders and have it recurrently get sent out, which can be a powerful way to collaborate again within GEM. Now, the last thing I want to touch out before I hand it back to Ani uh, and give you guys a chance to ask some questions is to um, show our pipeline analytics and our anal other analytics window as well. So this is a little different than dashboards. Dashboards are obviously a high level overview of the company or for different users. Pipeline analytics is typically where a lot of those recruiters will spend to do those more granular uh, and in spe specific questions and they want to answer as well. For example, this is our ATS and our, all the jobs that came across in the previous fiscal year. We had around 18,000 applicants across 111 jobs that made 114 hires. And we actually have the ability to break this down by gender, race, ethnicity to evaluate our pass to rates based on different demographics and different cohorts as well. So this is an example of analysis, but you can certainly do much more than this. And I'm sure we'll spend more time talking about this in the future as well. But with that, I want to make sure we do have some um, time to address any questions or, uh, or anything else. So that's it for me. Um, back to Ani. Uh, happy to kind of spend some time 
collaborating on anything else or let you wrap up for us as well. Thank you. Thank you, Natish. And, and thank you to our audience. Um, hope you all found this incredibly useful and see y'all later. <laughs>